Andy Katz here for NCAA.com and March Madness with my latest Power 36. A lot of upheaval in the rankings, except for at the very top. Auburn remains number one for me after beating Kentucky at home. The Auburn Tigers, to me, looking like a number one seed and the best team in the country. At number two, Gonzaga. We thought the WCC was going to challenge the Zags. So far, it has not. Number three, Arizona. The Wildcats will take on UCLA Tuesday night. Arizona looking like a title contender. Number four, Kansas. Never should have the Jayhawks in the teens last week. Big mistake by me. They're back where they belong. Five, Purdue. This could cause some controversy here. Purdue beats Illinois. Crazy game on Martin Luther King Day on Monday in Champaign. Then loses a wild rivalry game at Indiana, but then turns around and beats Northwestern. All things being equal, I think Purdue will rise to the top and is still probably the best team in the Big Ten. At six, Kentucky, I'm not going to penalize the Wildcats, you know, for losing a crazy game at Auburn. Not going to do it. Seven, Duke. I know they lost at home to Miami, but the Blue Devils beat Syracuse handily. They're going to be fine. Eight, Baylor. They have righted themselves after handling Oklahoma. Nine, Michigan State. The Spartans bounce back off of a home Northwestern loss by winning at Wisconsin. Ten, UCLA. Bruins swept the Mountain Schools. Utah and Colorado, big showdown Tuesday night with Arizona. Eleven, Houston. Kelvin Sampson needs to be discussed as one of the candidates for National Coach of the Year. Shorthanded, injury-riddled, and the Cougars still team to beat in the American. All right, now you get to some teams that lost some games this past week that were kind of surprising. Villanova, the Wildcats are at 12, did lose at home to Marquette, very surprising. Wisconsin at 13, they lost that game at home to Michigan State, but no Tyler Wall, he was hurt. Illinois, rough week for the Illini, 14, lose at home to Purdue, then no Kofi Coburn in a loss at Maryland because of concussion protocols. Providence, just want to single them out at 17, coming off of their COVID pause, and they have looked very strong. And Florida State at 20. Seminoles get the sweep of Miami, first place in the ACC. All right, new teams in the Power 36. Marquette at 23, our national team of the week, winning at Villanova, home Xavier. Arkansas at 24, knockoff Texas A&M. Boise State at 25, they've won 12 in a row. Right now, they're the best team in the Mountain West Conference. Alabama, Tennessee, back in the power 36, 26 and 27, both beating LSU, LSU out. Michigan's in at 29 after a really good week, beating Maryland at home and then winning at Indiana. TCU beat Iowa State, they're back in at 33. Wake at 34 destroyed Carolina. And at 36, Missouri State, the Bears winning at Loyola Chicago, handing them their first Valley loss. And our National Player of the Week coming from Missouri State, Isaiah Mosley had 40 in that road win against Loyola Chicago. He had 43 earlier this season in one of their two Valley losses to Northern Iowa. So Missouri State cracking the Power 36. So two Valley teams in the Power 36. It's going to be quite a week. Some big-time matchups coming up this week. And I'm sure there'll be a big shake-up next week in the Power 36.